Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate AI images for free. I'm gonna show you five different ways of how you can do this in this video and towards the end, I'm also gonna provide you with some premium options where if you're a graphic designer, a content creator, uh, these free options do have a lot of limitations and I would suggest getting one of the premium options if you do have a need for generating a lot of images with AI. So diving right in here, the very first option, and this option has been around for over a year now, is actually the Bing Image Creator. It looks like it's rebranded now to Copilot Designer, and you can also access this same deal here inside Microsoft Copilot. So if you click Designer, they have a custom GPT or a Copilot GPT for this, uh, you can access the same functionality right here. So this is just bing.com forward slash images slash create. I'll leave a link to all of these in the video description description below. But what I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to do, you know, just some basic image prompts here to show you what these tools can do. So I'm going to do um, dogs playing, let's see, dogs playing uh, on the moon with planet Earth in the distance. And let's just see what the Bing image creator can create doing this. Now, before I do this, or while I click enter here, uh, I do want to note that this actually is Dolly technology. Many are not aware that Bing or this Copilot uh, Copilot Designer now is what it's called is using Dolly technology in the background. As you'll see here, it says powered by Dolly 3. So if you don't want to pay for ChatGPT Plus to use Dolly 3, this is a free way to do it. So here's the response that I got for, here's the output that I got from dogs playing on the moon with planet Earth in the distance. And it generated four images, which is kind of cool. And I like that about this tool. This one's not bad. I mean, it's you can tell it's not very realistic, but it's still a cool image. You can share it, you can download it, you can save it, uh, you can customize it with Microsoft Designer, which is kind of cool. Uh, here's another image, here's another image. I don't like that one. Um, and then here's another image as well that you could use. So obviously this depends on your use case and the prompt that you give it. Uh, but again, this is a free option and it's not bad at all. Now you do have limited credits. So you'll see here I have 47 credits. Uh, and the other thing I wanna note is that you do need to be signed into a Microsoft account in order to use this. So as long as you have a free Microsoft account, this shouldn't be an issue. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing here inside Microsoft Copilot, and I'm going to skip ahead after this is complete. All right, so here are the images that I got inside the Copilot interface. Again, very similar to what we see here inside Copilot Designer, as after all, it is the same tool, it's just in a different interface. Uh, so not bad, same thing, you can click it, uh, you can actually download it from here, you can click Microsoft Designer. There's a little more uh, you know, things to edit here on the bottom. Um, you can edit the filters. It looks like you can do other sorts of things, pixel art, watercolor. Uh, so if I click that, it's gonna recreate this image. I hope this doesn't take that long. Uh, but you can do all sorts of things here. It looks like there's more things you can do inside the Copilot interface uh, than there is in the designer interface or previously known as the Bing image creator. So here's what it looks like from the watercolor feature I just did. You can undo it. Um, I'm actually gonna go back. Let's see, how do I X out of here? Okay, so I'm gonna go back. Um, and same with the Bing image creator, it did give me credits. So there's only so many credits that you can do with this. Um, but again, you can export it, copy, like, dislike, you can share this, you can open it in Microsoft Designer and make edits in there if you want. Um, but that is the first option of how you generate AI images for free is with the Copilot Designer and also just right inside Microsoft Copilot. So the second way to generate AI images for free is with this tool called Meta AI. Now Meta AI owns, or Meta, excuse me, owns Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, for those of you familiar with those platforms. And once they released their new language model called Llama 3, it also came along with this brand new interface on Meta.ai. So it acts as a normal chatbot or LLM, similar to what you see in ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini. But on the left-hand side, there's this option that says Imagine. And if I click imagine, it's going to take me to Meta's AI image generator. Now, before I do this, I first want to call out that you must be logged into a Facebook account or this process will not work. I had to go through that, had to log into a Facebook account. So you have to be logged into Facebook in order for this to work. 
And now what I'm going to do is test it in real time. So let's do dogs playing on the moon with planet Earth in the distance. And the very first thing I notice is that it literally generated this image in a second before I could click the enter button. Now, it's not the best image, but it's lightning quick in its response. So if I go ahead and click enter, it looks like here it's going to generate four images just like we saw with the Copilot designer. So I'm going to wait a little bit and then come back after this is finished. Well, it just finished, right? As I said, the end of that sentence. And so here are the images created by Meta AI. Uh, not bad. I mean, this honestly it looks a little more realistic than what I saw with Copilot. Uh, that one, not really. That's not a bad image here. I mean, I could definitely do something with that. Um, I could definitely do something with this. I mean, again, it depends on your use case, um, but right here you can download it. The only caveat to this is you'll see there's a watermark on the bottom left. Now this is with all images that you generate with Meta, as it says, I believe, Imagine with Meta AI is kind of the watermark on the bottom left. Now there are tools that you can do out there to eliminate watermarks on images. I'm not endorsing or recommending them, but there's dozens of these tools out there. Uh, so that is a downside. You can animate it. You can edit it inside here. You can just make real time edits similar to Dali. You can download, upload to Canva, Photoshop, do whatever you want. Um, but I'm just trying to show you as many free options as I possibly can. And this is the second one with Meta AI. The third option I want to show you is Canva. Now, I'm sure many of you watching this are familiar with Canva, but I'm not sure if a lot of you knew that you can generate AI images inside Canva now. They had a big update last year called the Canva Magic Studio. Um, so if you go to canva.com forward slash AI image generator, I do believe you need to be signed into a free account in order to use this, um, but it's showing you what you can do now inside this platform. And you should see an option here that says generate AI images, and it will take you to the Canva Canva interface. And on the left hand side, it gives you the option for a text prompt. It gives you styles, it gives you aspect ratios. Um, and then let's just try something really quick. Let's do dogs playing on the moon with planet Earth in the distance. Uh, we could do dreamy. Let's do photo, try to make it as realistic as we possibly can. Uh, let's do landscape and then let's click generate image. And then I'm going to come back after this image is complete. All right, so here are the images that Canva created. Now it's hard to see, but on the top left, if I click this, it should put this in the screen here. And that's exactly what it did. And I can make this bigger and do whatever with it. Uh, but here are the images that Canva created with that simple text prompt. I'm gonna delete this, uh, show you the second one here. So if you click it, it's gonna come into the main screen. Uh, not bad, I mean, I believe this is actually powered by Dolly technology. If I stand corrected on that, you know, someone correct me in the comments. Um, but not great either. I mean, look at this little image here. Uh, the dogs don't look very realistic in my opinion. So there's still a lot of work to do with this Canva image generator. Uh, this image isn't bad at all. If I had to pick one, I'd probably use this one. Um, but again, I'm just trying to provide you guys with as many free options as possible when it comes to generating AI images. And this is definitely one that you should check out is this Canva magic media, I believe it's called now. So that is the third option is Canva. So the next option I want to show you to generate free AI images is called Leonardo AI. I've mentioned this tool on videos in the past, um, but this tool only continues to get better and better. I received several emails of this platform letting me know how much they update their tool. Um, and there are a lot of quality image here, as you'll see here, I'm on the community dashboard, um, just a very solid option that you can just use at your disposal for free. So it is a freemium model. You do get, it looks like 150 credits. I believe that, I don't know when that expires. Um, if I click manage here, um, so it looks like it's 10 bucks a month uh, to get 8,500 tokens. It looks like you get 150 tokens per day. So I'm not using it that much. So, I mean, this free plan is good enough for me. So if I go up here and click create new image, this is going to take me to the dashboard. And it looks like it's only eight tokens per image. So, I mean, if you get 150 tokens per day and it's eight per image, uh, that's not bad in my opinion. So here is the prompt I'm going to do, dogs playing on the moon with planet Earth in the distance. And on the left here, you'll see this looks very sophisticated. I mean, you can get very, very detailed with this. Dynamic, Leonardo style, you can add elements, a negative prompt. Um, they have their own image model called Leonardo Diffusion XL. There's Anime XL. Um, they use Stable Diffusion. You can use that if you want to. I'm just going to leave it on Leonardo Diffusion XL. I'm not really going to jack with it too much. Um, and on the left, you can do the photo reel V2. Um, looks like I can't do that. Uh, again, this is probably a paid plan or a premium plan. Uh, let's do, you know, 1024 by 1024. 
Uh, there's all these other settings that you can do here as well. I'm just gonna click generate image. Uh, and then I'm going to come back here after this image is complete. All right, and here are the images that were generated by Leonardo AI. That took probably 15, 20 seconds. Um, not bad. I mean, you click on this, not terrible. Uh, again, similar to the other image generators, uh, you can go in here, you can upscale it, remove background, copy to clipboard, download it. You can do all sorts of edits inside here. Um, here's the four images that it generated. Uh, not terrible. I mean, if I had to pick one here, um, I'd probably do something like this. As you'll see, planet Earth is kind of on the moon in this example. Uh, this one's not terrible. That's definitely not Earth there, but maybe right there. This is several planets, so um, not not great in my opinion, but also not terrible. Again, just another free option that you guys can use is Leonardo AI. And it's also cool sometimes, guys, to look back at the community creations. You can also use these community creations too. Um, obviously not for commercial purposes. I'm not sure what their licensing or what their legality is on that. Um, but you can filter by trending, new, uh, we can do top. Uh, so these are some of the top images generated on Leonardo AI. Uh, that's a cool one of Jesus right there. Uh, but it's just kind of cool, especially if you're a graphic designer. That's a really cool image from the Joker there. Uh, just to see what the community is creating with all of these new AI tools at our disposal. So the final option I want to show you in this video is Google Gemini. Now, I know some of you may say, well, Ryan, didn't you hear about Google Gemini and their issue with images a while ago? Yes, I do know about that. But I again, I want to show you all the free options that I can when it comes to generating AI images for free. So I believe you have to be logged into a free Google account in order to do this. But what you can do is just go to any chat inside Google Gemini. This works on the free plan and say create an image of dogs playing on the moon with planet Earth in the distance. And so here it is, it's starting the prompt and I'm gonna come back after this is complete. And here are the outputs that I got from Google Gemini. That took about 15 seconds. Uh, by far, this is definitely the worst output of all the other tools that I use for this prompt of creating an image of dogs playing on the moon uh, compared to the other free tools that I showed you in this video. Um, not great. I would actually not recommend using any of these. I probably wouldn't suggest using Google Gemini at all when it comes to images. Uh, again, the only reason I'm showing this to you is that let's say you're just curious and you want to generate AI images and compare it and contrast it to various tools. Google Gemini does have the ability to generate images for free. So it doesn't hurt just to try it and see what you get for an output. Maybe you can use it for ideation. I don't know, guys. You guys, you tell me if you've used this before and if you like it. But I uh, just want to show you an option. Not great. Would not recommend using this. Now, when it comes to premium plans for AI image generation, I actually do find DALI to be better inside ChatGPT Plus when it comes to image generation versus the free version that you get on Copilot. Now, obviously the prompts are different, but this is what Copilot looks like using DALI inside Copilot or the Bing Image Creator. And this is what you can do inside ChatGPT Plus. So GPT-4, uh, GPT-4.0, whatever model that you wanna use, whether it's 4 or 4.0, these are the types of images that you can get inside the ChatGPT interface using Dolly 3. And that's what I've actually noticed is that even though this says that this is powered by Dolly 3 right here, uh, the quality inside ChatGPT is much better versus the quality inside Microsoft Copilot. And apparently they're using the same thing. So I'm not really sure how that works, to be honest with you. Another premium model, of course, is MidJourney. They were kind of the pioneer in AI image generation. Uh, and they are still one of the best available. I believe it's still 10 bucks a month for their very basic tier. Um, I'm on the community creations right now. Um, but this is just a really excellent AI image generator. If you're a graphic designer or a content creator and need AI images, I would suggest investing in something like MidJourney for 10 bucks a month. Uh, same with Adobe Firefly. Now, the only reason I have Adobe Firefly is because I have Adobe Photoshop and it came in my package included. Um, but this is also a very high quality image generator. So you'll see here, I believe it's like Gen 2 or something like that. And I can't actually use it. Uh, I'm not logged in in this example. Um, so let's see if I can take a peek at the some of the community creations. Here we go right here. Uh, Adobe Firefly is up there, in my opinion, with MidJourney in terms of realism, uh, the quality of some of these images. I mean, that is insane right there. Uh, that looks extremely realistic right there. Uh, and this is what Firefly looks like uh, inside the UI when you're generating images. 
Um, so yeah, Adobe Firefly, another high quality image generator. Uh, I believe it's around maybe 10 bucks a month, maybe less if you want to just get Firefly on its own and not the other Adobe products. Uh, but just a premium option that I want to show you in this video. So that's it, guys. I hope you learned something. I, I appreciate you if you're still here. Be sure to subscribe to my channel at AI Insider Tips as I spend hours putting together some of these tutorials for you guys on AI, ChatGPT, new tools coming out, some news, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it and you think I rambled too much, which might be true, give me a thumbs down so I know what to create for you guys in the near future. And if you haven't already gotten my free guide on the best AI side hustles in 2024 and beyond, be sure to get this. You can find this in the description or pinned comment below. Uh, I show you how I've made more than $5,000 a month in passive income online, leveraging some of these AI tools. So again, guys, this is Ryan. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy using some of these free AI image generators.